Harbin, Manchu, Harbin, Chinese, ha Erbin, hai Erbin, is the capital of Heilongjiang Province, and largest city in the northeastern region of the People's Republic of China. Holding sub provincial administrative status, Harbin has direct jurisdiction over nine metropolitan districts, two county level cities, and seven counties. Harbin is the eighth most populous Chinese city according to the 2010 census. The built up area, which consists of all districts except Shuangcheng and Acheng, had 5,282,093 inhabitants, while the total population of the sub provincial city was up to 10,635,971. Harbin serves as a key political, economic, scientific, cultural, and communications hub in northeast China, as well as an important industrial base of the nation. Harbin, whose name was originally a Manchu word meaning, a place for drying fishing nets, grew from a small rural settlement on the Songhua River to become one of the largest cities in northeast China. Founded in 1898 with the coming of the Chinese Eastern Railway, the city first prospered as a region inhabited by an overwhelming majority of the immigrants from the Russian Empire. Having the most bitterly cold winters among major Chinese cities, Harbin is heralded as the ice city for its well known winter tourism and recreations. Harbin is notable for its beautiful ice sculpture festival in the winter. Besides being well known for its historical Russian legacy, the city serves as an important gateway in Sino-Russian trade today, containing a sizable population of Russian diaspora. In the 1920s, the city was considered China's fashion capital since new designs from Paris and Moscow reached here first before arriving in Shanghai. The city was voted, China Top Tourist City, by the China National Tourism Administration in 2004. On the 22nd of June 2010, Harbin was appointed a city of music by the UN. Topic: History. Topic: Early history. The first generation of Harbin Russians were mostly the builders and employees of the Chinese Eastern Railway. They moved to Harbin in order to work on the railroad. At the time Harbin was not an established city. The city was almost built from scratch by the builders and early settlers. Houses were constructed, furniture and personal items were brought in from Russia. Human settlement in the Harbin area dates from at least 2200 BC during the Late Stone Age. Wanyan Aguda, the founder and first emperor reigned 1115-1123 of the Jin dynasty 1115-1234, was born in the Yurchin Wanyan tribes who resided near the Ashi River in this region. In AD 1115 Aguda established Jin's capital Shangjing upper capital Huaning prefecture in today's Acheng district of Harbin. After Aguda's death, the new emperor Wanyan Sheng ordered the construction of a new city on a uniform plan. The planning and construction emulated major Chinese cities, in particular Bianjing Kaifeng, although the Jin capital was smaller than its northern Song prototype. Huaning Prefecture served as the first superior capital of the Jin Empire until Wanyan Liang the fourth emperor of Jin dynasty moved the capital to Yanjing in 1153. Liang even went so far as to destroy all palaces in his former capital in 1157. Wanyan Liang's successor Wanyan Yang Emperor Shizong restored the city and established it as a secondary capital in 1173. Ruins of the Shangjing Huaning Prefecture were discovered and excavated about 2 km .2 miles from present-day Acheng's central urban area. The site of the old Jin capital ruins is a national historic reserve, and includes the Jin Dynasty History Museum. The museum, open to the public, was renovated in late 2005. Mounted statues of Aguda and of his chief commander Wanyan Zonghan also Nianhan stand in the grounds of the museum. Many of the artifacts found there are on display in nearby Harbin. After the Mongol conquest of the Jin Empire 1211-1234, Huaning Prefecture was abandoned. In the 17th century, the Manchus used building materials from Huaning Prefecture to construct their new stronghold in Alchuka. The region of Harbin remained largely rural until the 1800s, with over 10 villages and about 30,000 people in the city's present-day urban districts by the end of the 19th century. International city A small village in 1898 grew into the modern city of Harbin. 
Polish engineer Adam Shidlovsky drew plans for the city following the construction of the Chinese Eastern Railway, which the Russian Empire had financed. The Russians selected Harbin as the base of their administration over this railway and the Chinese Eastern Railway Zone. The Chinese Eastern Railway extended the Trans-Siberian Railway, substantially reducing the distance from Chita to Vladivostok and also linking the new port city of Dalny and the Russian naval base Port Arthur During the Russo-Japanese War Russia used Harbin as its base for military operations in Manchuria. Following Russia's defeat, its influence declined. Several thousand nationals from 33 countries, including the United States, Germany, and France, moved to Harbin. Sixteen countries established consulates to serve their nationals, who established several hundred industrial, commercial and banking companies. Churches were rebuilt for Russian Orthodox, Lutheran, German Protestant, and Polish Catholic Christians. Chinese capitalists also established businesses, especially in brewing, food and textiles. Harbin became the economic hub of northeastern China and an international metropolis. Rapid growth of the city challenged the public health care system. The worst ever recorded outbreak of pneumonic plague was spread to Harbin through the Trans Manchurian Railway from the border trade port of Manjoli. The plague lasted from late autumn of 1910 to spring 1911 and killed 1,500 Harbin residents, mostly ethnic Chinese, or about 5% of its population at the time. This turned out to be the beginning of the large pneumonic plague pandemic of Manchuria and Mongolia which ultimately claimed 60,000 victims. In the winter of 1910, Dr. Wu Lin Teh was given instructions from the Foreign Office, Peking, to travel to Harbin to investigate the plague. Dr. Wu asked for imperial sanction to cremate plague victims, as cremation of these infected victims turned out to be the turning point of the epidemic. The suppression of this plague pandemic changed medical progress in China. Bronze statues of Dr. Wu Lin Teh are built in Harbin Medical University to remember his contributions in promoting public health, preventive medicine, and medical education. The first generation of Harbin Russians were mostly the builders and employees of the Chinese Eastern Railway. They moved to Harbin in order to work on the railroad. At the time, Harbin was not an established city. The city was almost built from scratch by the builders and early settlers. Houses were constructed, furniture and personal items were brought in from Russia. After the plague epidemic Harbin's population continued to increase sharply, especially inside the Chinese Eastern Railway Zone. In 1913 the Chinese Eastern Railway census showed its ethnic composition as, Russians 34,313, Chinese that is, including Hans, Manchus etc. 23,537, Jews 5,032, Poles 2,556, Japanese 696, Germans 564, Tatars 234, Latvians 218, Georgians 183, Estonians 172, Lithuanians 142, Armenians 124, there were also Karames, Ukrainians, Bashkirs, and some Western Europeans. In total, 68,549 citizens of 53 nationalities, speaking 45 languages. Research shows that only 11.5% of all residents were born in Harbin. By 1917, Harbin's population exceeded 100,000, with over 40,000 of them were ethnic Russians. After Russia's Great October Socialist Revolution in November 1917, more than 100,000 defeated Russian White Guards and refugees retreated to Harbin, which became a major center of White Russian émigrés and the largest Russian enclave outside the Soviet Union. The city had a Russian school system, as well as publishers of Russian-language newspapers and journals. Russian Harbin Sea community numbered around 120,000 at its peak in the early 1920s. In the early 1920s, according to Chinese scholars' recent studies, over 20,000 Jews lived in Harbin. After 1919, Dr. Abraham Kaufman played a leading role in Harbin's large Russian Jewish community. The Republic of China discontinued diplomatic relations with the Soviet Union in 1920, so many Russians found themselves stateless. When the Chinese Eastern Railway and government in Beijing announced in 1924 that they agreed the railroad would only employ Russian or Chinese nationals, the émigrés were forced to announce their ethnic and political allegiance. Most accepted Soviet citizenship. 
The Chinese warlord Zhang Shuiliang seized the Chinese Eastern Railway in 1929. Soviet military force quickly put an end to the crisis and forced the nationalist Chinese to accept restoration of joint Soviet-Chinese administration of the railway. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Japanese invasion period. Japan invaded Manchuria outright after the Mukden incident in September 1931. After the Japanese captured Chichihar in the Zhongchao campaign, the Japanese 4th Mixed Brigade moved toward Harbin, closing in from the west and south. Bombing and strafing by Japanese aircraft forced the Chinese army to retreat from Harbin. Within a few hours the Japanese occupation of Harbin was complete, with the establishment of the puppet state of Manchukuo. The pacification of Manchukuo began, as volunteer armies continued to fight the Japanese. Harbin became a major operations base for the infamous medical experimenters of Unit 731, who killed people of all ages and ethnicities. All these units were known collectively as the Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department of the Kwantung Army. The main facility of the Unit 731 was built in 1935 at Pingfong District, approximately 24 kilometers 15 miles south of Harbin urban area at that time. Between 3,000 and 12,000 citizens including men, women, and children—from which around 600 every year were provided by the Kempatai—died during the human experimentation conducted by Unit 731 at the camp based in Pingfong alone, which does not include victims from other medical experimentation sites. Almost 70% of the victims who died in the Pingfong camp were Chinese, including both civilian and military. Close to 30% of the victims were Russian. Some others were Southeast Asians and Pacific Islanders, at the time colonies of the Empire of Japan, and a small number of the prisoners of war from the Allies of World War II although many more Allied POWs were victims of Unit 731 at other sites. Prisoners of war were subjected to vivisection without anesthesia, after infected with various diseases. Prisoners were injected with inoculations of disease, disguised as vaccinations, to study their effects. Unit 731 and its affiliated units Unit 1644 and Unit 100 among others were involved in research, development, and experimental deployment of epidemic creating biowarfare weapons in assaults against the Chinese populace both civilian and military throughout World War II. Human targets were also used to test grenades positioned at various distances and in different positions. Flame throwers were tested on humans. Humans were tied to stakes and used as targets to test germ-releasing bombs, chemical weapons, and explosive bombs. Twelve Unit 731 members were found guilty in the Khabarovsk war crime trials but later repatriated, others received secret immunity by the Supreme Commander of the Allied Powers Douglas MacArthur before the Tokyo War Crimes Tribunal in exchange for biological warfare work in the Cold War for the American force. Chinese revolutionaries including Zhao Shangzi, Yang Jingyu, Li Jiaolin, Zhao Yimin continued to struggle against the Japanese in Harbin and its administrative area, commanding the main anti-Japanese guerrilla army Northeast Anti-Japanese United Army—which was originally organized by the Manchurian branch of the Chinese Communist Party CCP. The army was supported by the Comintern after the CPC Manchurian Provincial Committee was dissolved in 1936. Under the Manchukuo regime and Japanese occupation, Harbin Russians had a difficult time. In 1935, the Soviet Union sold the Chinese Eastern Railway KVZHD to the Japanese, and many Russian émigrés left Harbin 48,133 of them were arrested during the Soviet Great Purge between 1936 and 1938 as Japanese spies. Most departing Russians returned to the Soviet Union, but a substantial number moved south to Shanghai or emigrated to the United States and Australia. By the end of the 1930s, the Russian population of Harbin had dropped to around 30,000. Many of Harbin's Jews, 13,000 in 1929, fled after the Japanese occupation as the Japanese associated closely with militant anti-Soviet Russian fascists, whose ideology of anti-Bolshevism and nationalism was laced with virulent anti-Semitism. Most left for Shanghai, Tianjin, and the British Mandate of Palestine. In the late 1930s, some German Jews fleeing the Nazis moved to Harbin. Japanese officials later facilitated Jewish emigration to several cities in western Japan, notably Kobe, which came to have Japan's largest synagogue. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> After World War II. The Soviet army took the city on 20 August 1945 and Harbin never came under the control of the Kuomintang, whose troops stopped 60 kilometers 37 miles short of the city. The city's administration was transferred by the departing Soviet army to the Chinese People's Liberation Army in April 1946. On 28 April 1946, the communist government of Harbin was established, making the 700,000 citizen city the first large city governed by the communists. During the short occupation of Harbin by the Soviet army August 1945 to April 1946, thousands of Russian émigrés who have been identified as members of the Russian Fascist Party and fled communism after the Russian October Revolution, were forcibly deported to the Soviet Union. After 1952 the Soviet Union launched a second wave of immigration back to Russia. By 1964, the Russian population in Harbin had been reduced to 450. The rest of the European community Russians, Germans, Poles, Greeks, etc. emigrated during the years 1950-54 to Australia, Brazil, Canada, Israel and the USA, or were repatriated to their home countries. By 1988 the original Russian community numbered just 30, all of them elderly. Modern Russians living in Harbin mostly moved there in the 1990s and 2000s, and have no relation to the first wave of emigration. Harbin was among one of the key construction cities of China during the first five-year plan period from 1951 to 1956. Thirteen of the 156 key construction projects were aid constructed by the Soviet Union in Harbin. This project made Harbin an important industrial base of China. During the Great Leap Forward from 1958 to 1961, Harbin experienced a very tortuous development course as several Sino-Soviet contracts were cancelled by the Soviet Union. During the Cultural Revolution many foreign and Christian things were uprooted, such as the St. Nicholas Church which was destroyed by Red Guards in 1966. As the normal economic and social order was seriously disrupted, Harbin's economy also suffered from serious setbacks. One of the main reasons of this setback is with its Soviet ties deteriorating and the Vietnam War escalating, China became concerned of a possible nuclear attack. Mao Zedong ordered an evacuation of military and other key state enterprises away from the northeastern frontier, with Harbin being the core zone of this region, bordering the Soviet Union. During this Third Front development era of China, several major factories of Harbin were relocated to southwestern provinces including Gansu, Sichuan, Hunan and Guizhou, where they would be strategically secure in the event of a possible war. Some major universities of China were also moved out of Harbin, including Harbin Military Academy of Engineering predecessor of Changsha's National University of Defense Technology and Harbin Institute of Technology moved to Chongqing in 1969 and relocated to Harbin in 1973. National economy and social service have obtained significant achievements since the Chinese economic reform first introduced in 1979. Harbin holds the China Harbin International Economic and Trade Fair each year since 1990. Harbin once housed one of the largest Jewish communities in the Far East before World War II. It reached its peak in the mid-1920s when 25,000 European Jews lived in the city. Among them were the parents of Ehud Olmert, the former Prime Minister of Israel. In 2004, Olmert came to Harbin with an Israeli trade delegation to visit the grave of his grandfather in Huang Shan Jewish Cemetery, which had over 500 Jewish graves identified. On the 5th of October 1984, Harbin was designated a sub-provincial city by the Organization Department of the CPC Central Committee. The eight counties of Harbin originally formed part of Songhuajiang Prefecture, whose seat was practically located inside the urban area of Harbin since 1972. The prefecture was officially merged into Harbin City on the 11th of August 1996, increasing Harbin's total population to 9.47 million. Harbin hosted the third Asian Winter Games in 1996. In 2009, Harbin held the 24 Winter Universiade. A memorial hall honoring Korean nationalist and independence activist An Young Jun was unveiled at Harbin Railway Station on the 19th of January 2014. 
An assassinated four-time Prime Minister of Japan and former Resident General of Korea Itohiro Bumi at No. 1 platform of Harbin Railway Station on 26 October 1909, as Korea on the verge of annexation by Japan after the signing of the Yulsa Treaty. South Korean President Park jun hye raised an idea of erecting a monument for An while meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping during a visit to China in June 2013. After that China began to build a memorial hall honoring An at Harbin Railway Station. As the hall was unveiled on 19 January 2014, the Japanese side soon lodged protest with China over the construction of An's memorial hall. Geography <inaudible> 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 Harbin, with a total land area of 53,068 square kilometers (20,490 square miles), is located in southern Heilongjiang Province and is the provincial capital. The prefecture is also located at the southeastern edge of the Songnan Plain, a major part of China's northeastern plain. The city center also sits on the southern bank of the Middle Songhua River. Harbin received its nickname, the Pearl on the Swan's Neck, since the shape of Heilongjiang resembles a swan. Its administrative area is rather large with latitude spanning 44 degrees 04, minus 46 degrees 40 N, and longitude 125 degrees 42, minus 130 degrees 10 E. Neighboring prefecture level cities are Yichun to the north, Jiamuzi and Kitehi to the northeast, Mudanjiang to the southeast, Daqing to the west, and Suihua to the northwest. On its southwestern boundary is Jilin Province. The main terrain of the city is generally flat and low lying with an average elevation of around 150 meters, 490 feet. However, the territory that comprises the 10 county level divisions in the eastern part of the municipality consists of mountains and uplands. The easternmost part of Harbin prefecture also has extensive wetlands, mainly in Yilin County which is located at the southwestern edge of the Sanjiang Plain. Topic. Climate Under the Köppen climate classification, Harbin features a monsoon-influenced, humid continental climate DWA. Due to the Siberian high and its location above 45 degrees north latitude, the city is known for its coldest weather and longest winter among major Chinese cities. Its nickname Ice City is well earned, as winters here are dry and freezing cold, with a 24-hour average in January of only minus 17.6 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit, although the city sees little precipitation during the winter and is often sunny. Spring and autumn constitute brief transition periods with variable wind directions. Summers can be hot, with a July mean temperature of 23.1 degrees Celsius .6 degrees Fahrenheit. Summer is also when most of the year's rainfall occurs, and more than half of the annual precipitation, at 538 mm in, occurs in July and August alone. With monthly percent possible sunshine ranging from 52% in December to 63% in March, the city receives 2,571 hours of bright sunshine annually, on average precipitation falls 104 days out of the year. The annual mean temperature is plus 4.86 degrees Celsius, 40.7 degrees Fahrenheit, and extreme temperatures have ranged from minus 42.6 degrees Celsius, minus 45 degrees Fahrenheit, to 39.2 degrees Celsius, 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administrative divisions. The sub-provincial city of Harbin has direct jurisdiction over nine districts, two county-level cities and seven counties. Economy Harbin has the largest economy in Heilongjiang province. In 2013, Harbin's GDP totaled RMB 501.08 billion, an increase of 8.9% over the previous year. The proportion of the three industries to the aggregate of GDP was 11.1, 36.1, 52.8 in 2012. The total value for imports and exports by the end of 2012 was 5,330 million United States dollars. In 2012, the working population reached 3.147 million. 
In 2015, Harbin had a GDP of RMB 575.12 billion. The Chernozem soil in Harbin, called Black Earth, is one of the most nutrient rich in all of China, making it valuable for cultivating food and textile related crops. As a result, Harbin is China's base for the production of commodity grain and an ideal location for setting up agricultural businesses. Harbin also has industries such as light industry, textile, medicine, food, aircraft, automobile, metallurgy, electronics, building materials, and chemicals which help to form a fairly comprehensive industrial system. Several major corporations are based in the city. Harbin Electric Company Limited, Harbin Aircraft Industry Group and Northeast Light Alloy Processing Factory are some of key enterprises. Power manufacturing is a main industry in Harbin. Hydro and thermal power equipment manufactured here makes up one third of the total installed capacity in China. According to Platts, in 2009 10, Harbin Electric was the second largest manufacturer of steam turbines by worldwide market share, tying Dongfang Electric and slightly behind Shanghai Electric. Harbin Pharmaceutical Group, which mainly focus on research, development, manufacture and sale of medical products, is China's second biggest pharmaceutical company by market value. Foreign investors seem upbeat about the city. Harbin International Trade and Economic Fair has been held annually since 1990. This investment and trade fair cumulatively attracting more than 1.9 million exhibitors and visitors from more than 80 countries and regions to attend, resulting over U.S. $100 billion contract volume concluded according to the statistics of 2013. Harbin is among major destinations of FDI in northeast China, with utilized FDI totaling $980 million in 2013. After the 18th regular meeting between Sino-Russian prime ministers between Li Keqiang and Dmitry Anatolyevich Medvedev in October 2013, two sides come to make an agreement that the Harbin International Trade and Economic Fair will be renamed China-Russia Expo and be co-sponsored by the Chinese Ministry of Commerce, Heilongjiang Provincial Government, the Russian Ministry of Economic Development and Russia's Ministry of Trade and Industry. In the financial sector, Longjiang Bank and Harbin Bank are some of the largest banks in northeast China, with headquarters in Harbin. The latter ranks fourth by competitiveness among Chinese city commercial banks in 2011. In commerce, there is Cholan Group, which owns Harbin's largest department store. Topic economic Development Zones and Ports Harbin Economic and Technology Development Zone National, mainly focus on telecommunications equipment, chemicals production and processing, automobile production, assembly, electronics, textiles, medical equipment and supplies. Harbin High and New Technological Development Zone, focus on optical mechanical electrical integration, biology, medicine, electronics and information technology. Harbin Pingfang Automobile Industrial Zone Provincial, mainly focus on automobile production, assembly, electronics assembly and manufacturing, heavy industry, instruments and industrial equipment production. Harbin Limin Economic Development Zone Provincial, mainly focus on trading and distribution, food, beverage processing, medical equipment and supplies, shipping, warehousing, logistics. Harbin Port Harbin Songbei Economic Development Zone Songbei Economic Development Zone is located in Songbei District of Harbin. The zone has a planned area of 5.53 square kilometers. Electronics assembly and manufacturing, food and beverage processing are the encouraged industries in the zone. Many regional and provincial headquarters of large enterprises such as the China Dating Corporation, China Netcom and China Telecom have joined in this district, preliminary constituting the economy concentration zone of the local headquarters. Regional scientific research centers including Harbin Science and Technology Innovation Center and Harbin International Agricultural Science and Technology Innovation Center are also located in this development zone. Profit from these major research institutes, Harbin ranked ninth among 50 major Chinese cities in scientific and technological innovation ability in scientific and technological competitiveness ranking in 2006, as well as ranking sixth among Chinese cities in the amount of scientific and technological achievements. Harbin Economic and Technological Development Zone Harbin Economic and Technological Development Zone HETDZ is one of the 90 National Economical Development Zones of China. It was set up in June 1991, and was approved by the State Council as a National Development Zone in April 1993. 
In December 2012, Harbin High Technology Development Zone was merged into HETDZ. In 2009, the High Tech Zone was separated from HETDZ again. The area now has a total area of 18.5 square kilometers in the centralized parks, subdivided into Nongong and Haping Road centralized parks. The 12.2 square kilometers Yingbin Road High Tech Centralized Park, which was formerly part of HETDZ, is currently under the administration of Harbin High and New Technology Industry Development Zone since 2009. Nongong Centralized Park, designated for the incubation of high-tech projects and research and development base of enterprises as well as tertiary industries such as finance, insurance, services, catering, tourism, culture, recreation and entertainment, where the headquarters of large famous companies and their branches in Harbin are located. Yingbin Road Centralized Park, mainly focus on high-tech incubation projects, high-tech industrial development. Happing Road Centralized Park, designated for a comprehensive industrial basis for the investment projects of automobile and automobile parts manufacturing, medicines, foodstuffs, electronics, textile, automobile production and assembly raw material processing are the encouraged industries in this region. Harbin High and New Technology Industry Development Zone Harbin High and New Technology Industry Development Zone is one of the 56 National High and New Technology Industry Development Zones of China. The zone was first set up as a provincial level development zone in 1988, and was approved by the State Council as a national development zone in 1991 respectively. It has 23.9 square kilometers of built area totally, and subdivided into two parts, Science and Technology Innovation Town and High Tech Industrial Development Zone. Demographics. Topic. Population The 2010 census revealed total population in Harbin was 10,635,971, representing a 12.99% increase over the previous decade. The built-up area, made up of all urban districts but Acheng and Shuangcheng not urbanized yet, had a population of 5,282,083 people. The encompassing metropolitan area was estimated by the OECD Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development to have, as of 2010, a population of 10.5 million. The demographic profile for the Harbin metropolitan area in general is relatively old. 10.95% are under the age of 14, while 8.04% are over 65, compared to the national average of 16.6% and 8.87%, respectively. Harbin has a higher percentage of males than females Harbin currently has a lower birth rate than other parts of China, with 6.95 births per 1,000 inhabitants, compared to the Chinese average of 12.13 births. Ethnic <inaudible> groups <inaudible> 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 Most of Harbin's residents belong to the Han Chinese majority 93.45%. Ethnic minorities include the Manchu, Wei, and Mongol. In 2000, 616,749 residents belonged to minority nationalities, among which the vast majority were Manchu, contributing 70.26% to the minority population. The second and third largest minority groups were Koreans and Wei nationalities Religion The Catholic minority is pastorally served by its own Latin Rite Apostolic Administration of Harbin, a missionary pre-diocesan jurisdiction. It also has the Eastern Catholic former Cathedral of the Russian Catholic Apostolic Exarchate of Harbin pre-diocesan, Byzantine Rite in Russian language. The badly damaged Church of the Iver Icon of the Mother of God was previously used by Russian soldiers of the Outer Amur military region, then garrisoned in Harbin. Harbin had a small Jewish community centered on Zhongyang Main Street, which was home to many European Jewish refugees. Culture 
The Harbin local culture is based on Han culture, combined with Manchu culture and Russian culture. This combination of cultures influences the local architecture style, food, music, and customs. The city of Harbin was appointed a UNESCO City of Music on the 22nd of June 2010 as part of the Creative Cities Network. Topic: <inaudible> Dialect. <inaudible> 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 Harbin is famous for its standard Mandarin pronunciation as a common saying goes, if you want to study Chinese language, come to China. If you want to study Mandarin, come to Beijing. If you want to study standard Mandarin, come to Harbin. Cuisine Harbin is renowned for its culinary tradition. The cuisine of Harbin consists of European dishes and northern Chinese dishes mainly typified by heavy sauce and deep frying. One of the most famous dishes in northeastern Chinese cuisine is guo bao ru, a form of sweet and sour pork. It is a classic dish from Harbin which originated in the early 20th century in Dao Tai Fu, Pinyin, Dao tai Fu. It consists of a bite-sized pieces of pork in a potato starch batter, deep fried until crispy. They are then lightly coated in a variation of a sweet and sour sauce, made from freshly prepared syrup, rice vinegar, sugar, flavored with ginger, cilantro, sliced carrot and garlic. The Harbin Gubeoru is distinct from that of other areas of China, such as Liaoning, where the sauce may be made using either tomato ketchup or orange juice. Rather the Harbin style is dominated by the honey and ginger flavors and has a clear or honey yellow color. Originally the taste was fresh and salty. In order to fet foreign guests, Zheng Xingwen, the chef of Dao Tai Fu, altered the dish into a sweet and sour taste. Usually, people prefer to go to several small or middle size restaurants to enjoy this dish, because it is difficult to handle the frying process at home. Demoli stewed live fish is one among other notable dishes in Harbin, which is originated in a village named Demoli on the expressway from Harbin to Jiamuzi. The village is now Demoli service area on Harbin Tongjong Expressway. Stewed chicken with mushrooms, braised pork with vermicelli, and quick boil pork with Chinese sauerkraut are also typical authentic local dishes. Since Russia had a strong influence of Harbin's history, the local cuisine of Harbin also contains Russian-style dishes and flavor. There are several authentic Russian-style restaurants in Harbin, especially alongside the Zhongyang Street. A popular regional specialty is Harbin-style smoked savory red sausage. This product similar to Lithuanian and German sausages which are very mild, and they tend to be much more of European flavors than other Chinese sausages. In 1900, Russian merchant Ivan Yakovlevich Churin founded a branch in Harbin, which was named Churin Foreign Trading Company Pinyin, Cholan Yangong, Russian, Kulan Anhan selling imported clothes, leather boots, canned foods, vodka, etc., and began to expand sales network in other cities in Manchuria. The influx of Europeans through the Trans-Siberian Railway and Chinese Eastern Railway, increased demand of European flavor food. In 1909, Churin Sausage Factory was founded, and first produced European flavor sausage with the manufacturing process of Lithuanian staff. Since then European-style sausage become a specialty of the city, a Russian-style large round bread da lai ba da lai ba, derived from the Russian word kleb for bread, is also produced in Harbin's bakeries. Dalemba is a michi like sourdough bread. First introduced to the locals by a Russian baker, it has been sold in bakeries in Harbin for over a hundred years. Daliba's sour and chewy taste is different from other traditional soft and fluffy Asian style breads in other parts of China. Kvass, a Russia originated fermented beverage made from black or regular rye bread, is also popular in Harbin. Madier, ma -er", derived from modern. Ice cream provided in the Zhongyang Street is also well known in northern China. This ice cream is made from a specific traditional recipe and it tastes a little salty but more sweet and milky. Besides its headquarters in Harbin, it also has branches in other major Chinese cities including Beijing, Shanghai, etc. Manchu cuisine has mostly disappeared from Harbin. Winter culture. Located in northern northeast China, Harbin is the northernmost among major cities in China. 
Under the direct influence of the Siberian anticyclone, the average daily temperature is minus 19.7 degrees Celsius minus 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit in winter. Annual low temperatures below minus 35.0 degrees Celsius minus 31.0 degrees Fahrenheit are not uncommon. Nicknamed Ice City, due to its freezingly cold winter, Harbin is decorated by various styles of ice and snow sculptures from December to March every year. The annual Harbin International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival has been held since 1985. Although the official start date is 5 January each year, in practice, many of the sculptures can be seen before. While there are ice sculptures throughout the city, there are two main exhibition areas, enormous snow sculptures at Sun Island a AAAAA-rated recreational area on the opposite side of the Songhua River from the city and the separate Ice and Snow World that operates each night with lights switched on, illuminating the sculptures from both inside and outside. Ice and Snow World features illuminated full-size buildings made from blocks of 2 to 3 feet thick crystal clear ice directly taken from the Songhua River which passes through the city. The sculptures inside the exhibition ground takes 15,000 workers to work for 16 days. In early December, ice artisans cut 120,000 cubic meters (4.2 million cubic feet) of ice blocks from Songhua River's frozen surface as raw materials for the ice sculptures show. Massive ice buildings, large-scale snow sculptures, ice slides, festival food and drinks can also be found in several parks and major avenues in the city. Winter activities in the festival include Yabulai alpine skiing, snow mobile driving, winter swimming in Songhua River, and the traditional ice lantern exhibition in Jiaolin Garden, which was first held in 1963. Snow carving and ice and snow recreations are famous nationwide, especially among Asian countries including Korea, Japan, Thailand and Singapore. The Harbin International Ice and Snow Festival is one of the four largest ice and snow festivals in the world, along with Japan's Sapporo Snow Festival, Canada's Quebec City Winter Carnival, and Norway's Holmenkollen Ski Festival. Every November, the city of Harbin sends teams of ice artisans to the United States to promote their unique art form. It takes more than 100 artisans to create ice. The annual display of indoor Christmas themed ice carvings in National Harbor, Maryland, Nashville, Tennessee, Kissimmee, Florida, and Grapevine, Texas. Topic: The Music City. Founded in 1908, the Harbin Symphony Orchestra was China's oldest symphony orchestra. Harbin No. 1 Music School was also the first music school in China, which was founded in 1928. Nearly 100 famous musicians have studied at the school since its founding, said Lu Yintao, deputy chief of Harbin Cultural, Press and Publication Bureau. Every year, thousands of youngsters start their music dreams in this city, and the Harbin Summer Music Concert serial activities that always be held in the every year's summer present the music passion of the locals. UNESCO recognizes China's Harbin as the Music City as part of the Creative Cities Network in 2010. Topic: <laughs> Harbin Summer Music Concert. Harbin Summer Music Concert, concert for short is a national concert festival which is held on the 6th of August every 2 years for a period of 10 to 11 days. During the concert, multiple evenings, concert, race and activities are held. The artists come from all over the world. The Harbin Summer Music Month, which was then renamed as Harbin Summer Music Concert, was held in August 1958. The first formal concert was held on 5 August 1961 in Harbin Youth Palace, and kept on every year until 1966 when the Cultural Revolution started in China. In 1979, the concert was recovered and from 1994, it has been held every two years. As a part of 2006 Harbin Summer Music Concert's opening ceremony, a 1001 piano concert was held in Harbin's Flood Memorial Square located at the north end of Zhongyang Street Chinese, Zhongyang Da Jia Pinyin, Zhongyang Da Ji on 6 August 2006. Repertoires of the ensemble consisted of Triumphal March, Military March, Radetsky March and famous traditional local song on the Sun Island. This concert set a new Guinness World Record for largest piano ensemble, surpassing the previous record held by German artists in a 600 piano concert. 
In 2008, the 29th Harbin Summer Music Concert was held on 6 August. Media Television and radio Heilongjiang Television serves as the media outlets of this region, broadcasts on seven channels as well as a satellite channel for other provinces. Harbin Television serves as a municipal station, which has five channels for specialized programming. Long Guang, Dragon Broadcast, formerly Heilongjiang People's Broadcasting Station, the radio station group that serves the whole Heilongjiang region, providing seven channels including a Korean-language broadcast station. Harbin People's Broadcasting Station HPBS, broadcasts music, news, traffic, economy and life in Harbin and adjacent areas including Da Ching, Sui Hua and Fuyu. Topic: Architecture. Harbin is notable for its combination of Chinese and European architecture styles. Many Russian and other European style buildings are protected by the government. The architecture in Harbin gives it the nicknames of Oriental Moscow and Oriental Paris in China. Topic. Historical architecture Zhongyang Street, one of the main business streets in Harbin, is a remnant of the bustling international business activities at the turn of the 20th century. First built in 1898, the 1.4 km 0.87 miles long street is now a veritable museum of European architectural styles, Baroque and Byzantine facades, little Russian bakeries and French fashion houses, as well as non-European architectural styles, American eateries, and Japanese restaurants. The Russian Orthodox Church, St. Sophia Cathedral, is also located in the central district of Dowley. Built in 1907 and expanded from 1923 to 1932, it was closed during the Great Leap Forward and Cultural Revolution periods. Following its designation in 1996 as a National Cultural Heritage Site first-class preserved building, it was turned into a museum as a showcase of the history of Harbin City in 1997. The 53.35 meters (175.0 feet) tall church, which covers an area of 721 square meters, is a typical representative of Byzantine architecture. Many citizens believe that the Orthodox Church damaged the local feng shui, so they donated money to build a Chinese monastery in 1921, the Jila Temple. There were more than 15 Russian Orthodox churches and two cemeteries in Harbin until 1949. The Communist Revolution, and the subsequent Cultural Revolution, and the decrease in the ethnic Russian population, saw many of them abandoned or destroyed. Today, about ten churches remain, while services are held only in the Church of the Intercession in Harbin. The Harbin Railway Administration, formerly known as the Middle East Railway Administration, commonly known as the Big Stone House, was built in 1902, destroyed twice and rebuilt in 1904 and 1906. Modern architecture Harbin Grand Theatre is located in the cultural centre of Songbei, Harbin. It provides 1,600 and 400 seat venues. The architecture uses the external design of the heterogeneous hyperbolic surface. The Harbin Grand Theatre is a landmark building in Harbin. It is built in accordance with the water and is consistent with the positioning and design of the Harbin Cultural Island. It embodies the concept of the landscape and landscape of the north. As a public building facility, the Harbin Grand Theatre tries to provide people and visitors with different spatial experiences from the theatre, landscape, square and stereoscopic platform. During the design process, the designer set up a unique sightseeing corridor and viewing platform in the Grand Theatre. Visitors can overlook the surrounding wetland and enjoy the unique natural wetland scenery of Harbin. After the completion of the Harbin Grand Theatre, the public can enjoy opera, symphony, ballet and drama performances in various function rooms. Sports 
As the center of winter sports in China, many famous winter sports athletes come from Harbin. Olympic medalists include short track star Wang Meng, six-time medalist, long track skater Zhang Hong, 2014 Sochi gold medal, and pairs figure skaters Shen Shui and Zhao Hongbo, 2002 Salt Lake City and 2006 Turin bronze medals, and 2010 Vancouver gold medal Zhang Dan and Zhang Hao, 2006 Turin silver medal, and Pang Ching and Tong Jian, 2010 Vancouver silver medal. Harbin has an indoor speed skating arena, the Heilongjiang Indoor Rink. Opened in 1995, it is the oldest one of six in China. Mutual cooperation of the Far Eastern State Academy of Physical Culture and the Harbin Institute of Physical Education started an exchange of sports and cultural delegations, holding of sports, training of Chinese students in Khabarovsk, Russia and Harbin. Russian side started to have plans to introduce bandy to China while Harbin has good preconditions to become one of the strong points of this sport in China. The national team is based in Harbin, and it was confirmed in advance that they would play in the 2015 Bandy World Championship. The Chinese team came 16th in a field of 17 teams, edging out Somalia. Mr. Zhu, president of the Sport University, is a member of the Federation of International Bandy Council. In December 2017, an international student tournament will be played. While Chinese bandy is still in its initial stages, it is expected that Harbin even more will become the driving force behind the domestic development, for example via opening the Federation of International Bandy Office for Development and Promotion in Asia. Heilongjiang Lava Spring Football Club currently play their home soccer matches at Harbin International Conference Exhibition and Sports Center, a 50,000-seater stadium. The team gained promotion to China's second tier for the 2018 season when they came first in the 2017 China League 2 division. KRS Heilongjiang are a professional ice hockey team based in the city. A member of the Russian-based Supreme Hockey League and one of two Chinese teams in the league. The team is affiliated with the Continental Hockey League side, also based in China, HC Kunlun Red Star. An indoor ski resort opened in Harbin in 2017 and laid claim to be the world's largest of its kind. It will make it possible to enjoy downhill skiing all year round. Topic: <laughs> Events. The 1996 Asian Winter Games were held in Harbin. While ice games were mainly held in Harbin City, the skiing events were held in Yabulai Ski Resort, Shangzi City. In the frame of this campaign to assert its role on the world scene, Harbin hosted the 2009 Winter Universiade. Local government spent 3.6 billion yuan for this event, with 2.63 billion used in construction and renovation of its sport infrastructure for this Universiade. Harbin hosted the Asian Basketball Confederation Championship in 2003, in which China won the championship on their home court for the 13th time. Harbin bid to host the 2010 Winter Olympics, which was ultimately awarded to Vancouver, Canada. The second China Russia University Winter Sports Carnival was inaugurated 12 December 2017. This marked the first international bandy in Harbin. The Russian participation came from DVGAFK in Khabarovsk among men and IRGTU in Irkutsk among women. Being the national center of bandy, Harbin organized Division B of the 2018 Bandy World Championship and China improved its placing to 12th from a total field of 16 teams. Topic: Transport Topic. Railway Located at the junction of T-Style Mainline System, Harbin is an important railway hub of the Northeast China region. Harbin Railway Bureau is the first railway bureau established by People's Republic of China government, of which the railway density is the highest in China. Five conventional rail lines radiate from Harbin to Beijing: Jinga Line, Suifenhe (Binsui Line), Manjoli (Binzhou Line), Bian (Binbei Line), and Lalan (Laban Line). In addition, Harbin has a high-speed rail line linking Dalian, northeast China's southernmost seaport. In 2009, construction began on the new Harbin West Railway Station with 18 platforms, located on the southwestern outskirts of the city. 
In December 2012, the station was opened, as China unveiled its first high-speed rail running through regions with extremely low winter temperatures, with scheduled runs from Harbin to Dalian. The weatherproof CRH380B bullet train serving the line can accommodate temperatures from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius above zero. In 2017, a plan was unveiled to build a high-speed line between Harbin and Vladivostok which would be the first such connection between China and Russia. The city's main railway stations are the Harbin Railway Station, which was first built in 1899 and expanded in 1989. The main station is rebuilt in 2017, and now is still under construction. The Harbin East Railway Station, which opened in 1934, and the Harbin West Railway Station, which was built into the city's high-speed railway station in 2012. Another main station, Harbin North Railway Station, opened for public service in 2015, along with new built Harbin Chichihar Passenger Railway. Direct passenger train service is available from Harbin Railway Station to large cities including Beijing, Shanghai, Tianjin, Guangzhou, Jinan, Nanjing, and many other major cities in China. Direct high speed railway service began operation between Harbin West and Shanghai Hongqiao stations on 28 December 2013, and shortened the journey time to 12 hours. Harbin Railway System <laughs> Road As an important regional hub in northeast China, Harbin has an advanced highway system. Major highways which pass through or terminate in Harbin include the Beijing Harbin, Heihe Dalian, Harbin Tongjiang, Chongchun Harbin, and Manjoli Suifenhe highways. G1 Beijing Harbin Expressway, G10 Suifenhe Manjoli Expressway, G1001 Harbin Ring Expressway. G1011 Harbin Tongjiang Expressway, a spur of G10 that extends west to Tongjiang, formerly part of China National Highway 010. G1111 Hegong Harbin Expressway, a spur of G11 Hegong Dalian Expressway. G1211 Jilin Heihe Expressway, a spur of G12 Hunchen Yulanhad Expressway that extends north to Heihe. China National Highway 102. China National Highway 202 China National Highway 221 China National Highway 222 China National Highway 301 Topic Air Harbin Taiping International Airport, which is 35 kilometers 22 miles away from the urban area of Harbin, is the second largest international airport in northeast China. The technical level of flight district is 4E, which allows all kinds of large and medium civil aircraft. There are flights to over 30 large cities including Beijing, Tianjin, Shanghai, Nanjing, Qingdao, Wenzhou, Xiamen, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Shenyang, Dalian, Xi'an and Hong Kong. In addition there are also scheduled international flights between Harbin and Russia, Singapore, Malaysia and South Korea. In June 2015, the first LCC international air routes to Japan, specifically the city of Nagoya was to begin. Because of the freight capability limitation, construction of the T2 terminal began on 31 October 2014. The 160,000 square meter T2 terminal was scheduled to be finished in 2017, and will increase the freight capacity of the airport to three times of the previous. Topic: <inaudible> Subway. Construction of Harbin Subway started on the 5th of December 2006. The total investment for the first phase of Line One is RMB 5.89 billion. 20 stations were planned to be set on this 17.73 kilometers 11.02 miles long line starting from Harbin East Railway Station to the second affiliated hospital of Harbin Medical University in the west of the city. A subway depot, a command center and two transformer substations will be built along the line. Most of the line's route follows the air defense evacuation tunnel left from the 7381 project which started in 1973 and ended in 1979. 
The 7381 project was intended to protect Harbin from the former Soviet Union's possible invasion or nuclear attack. The Line 1 of Harbin Metro actually opened on 26 September 2013. It is oriented along the east-west axis of the urban area of Harbin, from northeast Harbin East Railway Station to southwest Second Affiliated Hospital of Harbin Medical University. Line 2 and Line 3 are under construction. Line 2 runs from Songbei District to Shangfang District and Ringlike Line 3 runs through Daoli, Daowai, Nongong and Shangfang Districts of Harbin. On 26 January 2017, Phase 1 of Line 3 opened for public service. Line 3 links Harbin West Railway Station to Yideryuan Station, the transfer station between Line 1 and Line 3. In the long term, the city plans to build nine radiating subway lines and a circle line in downtown and some suburban districts, which account for 340 kilometers (211.3 miles) by 2025. Picture references. 7381 Project, a civil defense system in Harbin. Harbin Subway Map, Line 1 Topic. Ports and waterways There are more than 1,900 rivers in Heilongjiang, including the Songhua River, Heilong River and Wusuli River, creating a convenient system of waterway transportation. Harbin Harbor is one of eight inland ports in China and the largest of its type in northeast China. Available from mid-April until the beginning of November, passenger ships sail from Harbin up the Songhua River to Chichihar, or downstream to Jiamuzi, Tongjiang, and Khabarovsk in Russia. Education <inaudible> 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 As Harbin serves as an important military industrial base after PRC's foundation, it is home to several key universities mainly focused on the science and technology service of national military and aerospace industry. Soviet experts played an important role in many education projects in this period. However, due to the threat of possible war with the Soviet Union, several colleges were moved southwards to Changsha, Chongqing, and several other southern cities in China in the 1960s. Some of these colleges were returned to Harbin in the 1970s. Among these universities the best known is Harbin Institute of Technology HIT, one of China's better known universities. Founded in 1920 with strong support by the Russian diaspora connected with the Chinese Eastern Railway, the university has developed into an important research university mainly focusing on engineering e.g. in space science and defense-related technologies, welding technology and engineering, with supporting faculties in the sciences, management, humanities and social sciences. The institute's faculty and students contributed to and invented China's first analog computer, the first intelligent chess computer, and the first arc welding robot. In 2010, research funding from the government, industry, and business sectors surpassed RMB 1.13 billion, the second highest of any university in China. It was ranked seventh in the best global universities for engineering by U.S. News in 2016. Military Harbin is now headquarters of the 78th Group Army of the People's Liberation Army, one of the three group armies that comprise the Northern Theater Command responsible for defending China's northeastern borders with Russia, Mongolia and North Korea, 23rd Group Army of the PLA used to garrison in Harbin before it was disbanded in a cycle of reductions in 2003. International relations Harbin has town twinning and similar arrangements with approximately 30 places around the world, as well as some other cities within China. For a list, see List of Twin Towns and Sister Cities in China H. In 2009 Harbin opened an International Sister Cities Museum. It has 1,048 exhibits in 28 rooms, with a total area of 1,800 square meters (19,375 square feet). On the 3rd of September 2015, China and Russia signed an agreement to reopen the Russian consulate in Harbin, as the former Soviet consulate was closed in 1962 after the Sino-Soviet split. China will also establish a corresponding consulate in Vladivostok.
Topic See also Harbin portal Harbin Ferris wheel Harbin Siberian Tiger Park List of cities in the People's Republic of China by population List of current and former capitals of subnational entities of China Notes <laughs>